The Exterior Lighting Test Module, ELTM for short, is an optional add-on for our Advanced Systems Analysis Program ASAP. ELTM allows you to test compliance of lighting standards for ECE, or the Economic Commission for Europe, the FMVSS, the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, and the SAE, the Society of Automotive Engineering Lighting Standards. ELTM's workflow involves first designing an automotive headlamp, tail lamp, or side indicator, and then importing that geometry and source into ASAP, from which you would launch the ELTM module. The ELTM module will then allow you to look at whether your system will pass or fail the various lighting standards that I previously discussed. Let's take a look at a simple example. Let's now open a file designed in Reflector CAD. Keep in mind that ELTM can be used to analyze virtually any design that can be imported into ASAP. We click on the ELTM button and we'll open up a file, a predefined file, which has some of our fog lamp information in it. The exterior lighting test module screen is composed of several areas. First is an area to define your geometry. This geometry actually includes the source distribution and the reflector distribution. You have the ability to add sources, and the source we're using for this particular example is the HB3 source, which will look something like this. This is a very sophisticated source which contains the optical and mechanical geometry, including the filament structure, and various source appetizations. In addition to defining or setting up your sources and your reflectors, you have the ability to choose from a wide variety of tests. In our particular example, we're going to be using the SAE front fog lamp test. But you also have the choice of various Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard tests, as well as European tests. The Options window allows you to trace rays, and it also allows you to determine how you are analyzing the luminous intensity output from your simulation. In addition, you have the ability to set the actual plot window. When ELTM is doing its actual calculations, you will see the luminous intensity pattern displayed in this area, and in the lower portion of the screen, you will see the test point values and whether you have passed or failed. Once you have set up your system and your source, and you've told ELTM that you want to do the ray trace and the various analysis, you simply hit the apply button, and ELTM and ASAP begin the simulation and calculation. We've created a source with approximately a million rays, and now what we're looking at is the actual reflector geometry and the source geometry. As you can see, it is a very complicated source with all the mechanical and optical properties assigned to that source. These sophisticated sources are required in order to do complicated designs and analyses of these types of reflector systems. I will now switch over to the ELTM window area and we can see the results of our calculation. Indicated in the window is the basic luminous intensity pattern. You can drop and drag the cursor to look at various slices through the field of that luminous intensity pattern. In the test point area, you can actually click on the test points and you can see those test points highlighted and whether you passed or failed. In this particular example, most of the test points have passed with one test point that has failed. The test point that has failed is uh, in the upper area of the luminous intensity pattern. This is not as, as troublesome as would first indicate because in order to do a more sophisticated analysis, we would actually add in the shelving of the reflector, as well as the outer lens, which are not included in this particular analysis. However, we've been able to analyze the performance of a segmented reflector and determine whether it has passed or failed the variety of test points for this particular application.